Ready? Oh! This is so sick, dude. I gave myself a $400 budget. Giant 12,000 gallon aquarium. And this arrow. Oh! I didn't even drop the fish yet. <laughs> Someone's trying to buy this setup. But you know, you have- I might have to outbid them. I have never seen something like this in my entire life. I mean, that is that is the craziest looking fish ever. You ready, Caferos? The new fish is going in. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. Oh my. Ready? Oh, this is so sick, dude. Oh! <laughs> I love bass, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Do you see it? Oh my. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video. I absolutely love that fish. That's the peacock we got in one of my last videos. The thousand gallon aquarium got a 50% water, more like 60%. It was a big old water change. Cameron, my buddy behind the camera. Hey Cam, what's going on? Hi. Did a full like clean out. This thing's looking amazing. We have Oscars in here. We got Gar. Look at the Florida Gar right there. He's getting all fired up. Peacock, couple hybrids down there, some short body red tails in there, even a phantom red tail, which is a fully like albino red tail. We've got some very cool fish in this 1,000 gallon pond, but today we're gonna get something crazy. I gave my boy Rodrigo a phone call and he said he's got fish from Indonesia, Brazil, you name it, he's got them there at the store today. He got a bunch of shipments in the last week and he told me, come to the shop, you gotta come. I gave myself a $400 budget for today's video. We are going to buy something. We gotta spend this right here. And this right here, this whole entire video was only possible with today's video sponsor. <sighs> Santa? I got a package for you. A gift for me? Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is the premium global brand for men's grooming and hygiene solutions. The best tools and solutions made from the best products and ingredients. All designed specifically for men to create the ultimate grooming experience from head to toe. I feel like Christmas came early this year. Because I just got gifted the new performance package by Manscaped. But honestly, no matter what the occasion, Manscaped is the ultimate gift for him. Ladies, Manscaped might be a gift for him, but it's really a gift for you. Give him the gift of smooth this season with Manscaped. Let's check it out. Now listen, if you watch my channel, you know I've been using Manscaped for months now. Actually, probably over a year, and I have nothing but good things to say. And I love how Manscaped never gives you any cuts, just a nice smooth shave. With feedback from millions across the globe, Manscaped obsessively designed a new generation of groin grooming solutions to take care of yourself down there. Now if you're looking for a gift to really wow the man in your life, you gotta appreciate the Manscaped experience, starting with their unique packaging. The Manscaped package shows up at your door in this discreet packaging so that you don't spoil the surprise. I mean, you can literally just slap a bow on it and throw it under the tree. And once he opens it up, you will see why it is just the ultimate gift for him. Your balls will thank you. The Manscaped Performance Package includes everyday grooming solutions for the modern man. Manscaped created the first all-in-one men's grooming kit that has you covered head to toe, literally. Now this is the best seller right here, the Lawnmower 4.0. This is the waterproof cordless electric body trimmer with advanced skin safe technology. Triple tap the button to engage the travel lock. Then when you get to your location, you just triple tap it again and and it'll turn back on, and you're ready to trim again. They even have these handy four length adjustable trimmer guard options based on your preferred length. Because who is Santa without a little bit of beard, you know? And here is a stocking stuffer just for you, the crop preserver. The anti-chafing clear dry moisturizer. And they also got the crop reviver. The crop reviver ball toner spray is a nice little go-to midday refresher. This little two ounce bottle is perfect to throw in your glove box, gym bag, wherever you want to put it. New to the Manscaped collection is the weed whacker. The nose and ear hair trimmer. With beautiful packaging, don't let yourself get hairy up in there and you know, up and up in there. Now this is truly a premium gift for maybe grandpa or dad. You know there's a lot of products out there that don't have that skin safe technology like this one. No more painful plucking, this thing is also cordless and waterproof, waterproof. Check it, check it, see that? Which makes cleanup a breeze. 
In honor of the giving season, Manscaped is hooking you up with a limited special offer. When you shop Manscaped.com and purchase the Performance Package Bundle, as a gift or for yourself, they are hooking you up with two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag right here, and the Manscaped Anti-Shape Boxing Briefs. That is a gift on top of a gift. Every guy needs to add Manscaped to their wish list this season, I'm telling you. If you've got a special man in your life that's been a little extra good this year, you gotta get him the Manscaped Performance package you can get 20% off 20% off your entire order during the manscape holiday sale that is 20% off site-wide manscape.com thank you so much manscape for sponsoring today's video without further ado enjoy it's feeding time for everyone right now so Tailless tilapia, and he's grown so much. It's actually crazy. Look, there's the soft shell down there. His neck is out. You can just see him sitting in the sand, doing his thing, blending in, hanging out with the tetras and the goldfish. This is the coolest thing ever. My mangroves are like really growing now. Look at this one. Mr. Axolotl came to say hello today. How you doing, buddy? Now I just fed the cichlids, but they're just so hard to see because the reflection off this tank with the black background is horrible. But you can see all the cichlids just hide in the back. I put the albino pleco from the pond inside here because it was pooping so much in there. I swear to you, and you can agree with this, plecos poop more than they clean. I promise you it's not worth buying a pleco. It defeats, it, it, it defeats the purpose. This is all pleco poop within like two days. Look at that, all pleco poop, and you know it's pleco poop because it's stringy and long and they poop way more than they clean don't buy plecos i promise you there's other ways around getting algae off snails look look he's pooping in my tank already see the poop string beans it's like spaghetti we're gonna give all the rest oh yeah but he's aggressive boom boom he ate uh all four of those in like three seconds that's tiny the goldfish he likes to nibble on your finger there he goes Inside the little caves of these blue crawfish too. If you remember a very long time ago I had baby blue crawfish in one of my old tanks at the other house It's been like two years and that is like one of the two that I have that are massive now the other ones in the back right there and then one is Right in that cave that one in there though is the big the big one that that rules the tank I can't wait to see this um, like six seven times the size budget of four hundred dollars. Let's go I got something for What's you. What's going bro. on, buddy? Oh, you can yeah, take yeah. that for free. Go ahead. Welcome to Predatory Fins, where you might step on dog poop when you come in. I've done it before. I'm actually here to pick up my shoes, not get fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Rodrigo. Dude. You, you did it. You got it. <laughs> wow. It looks like a giant Midas. Hey. Dude, that would be cool. Holy He's aggressive. Is he? Mm -hmm. Mean to other fish? Yeah. Look at that peacock bass. Fly river. Look at that little perch thing. I wish he had him at that size for sale. He's got a bunch of grouper in here and a nurse shark. This is a massive like 5,500 gallon saltwater pond. And then right here, how many gallons is this? 3,000? 3,000 gallon aquarium with a, bu a bunch of fish. I mean, look at that gar right there. That's crazy. Some kid caught that. I caught that one. So some kid caught this gar. And then this up here is a 12,000 gallon aquarium. 12,000, yes, I said it, 12,000 with massive fish. Look at that thing. Sheesh! Massive fish. Look at the sturgeons. We got sturgeons right here, and these ice packs are in the tank to keep it cool because the sturgeons typically like, I, be, I believe they like this temperature in like low 70s, even in the 60s, although they could definitely live in about like 80 degree water. They are awesome though. Look at those things. Super good. Yeah, and the black ones are really nice. Little, little risky to get those though, because I don't want to buy them and then happen to have them die. What is that little guy? Oh, it's a bicher. Yeah. I didn't see until the camera focused. Oh my goodness, that thing is tiny. And he's with a bunch of Oscars. Bigger bichers. Oh, whoa, 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 gosh, I fired him up. Look at all the quail and loaches. It's so sick. There is all sorts of fish. You got guppies. What is this? Fire eel. A fire eel? Yeah, red fire eel. Wow. What in the heck? Dude, that is so trippy looking. What the, what in the, what? 
What in the what? What do you think? Those are scary. That Those thing's gonna light you on fire. Creepy looking, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you think, Cam? No? We could find something better. He looks so cute though, look at the little face. Well keep it in mind, I feel like every time we come to Predatory, I gotta like look at everything first before I make a decision, a final decision. Look at how tiny that Bicher is. I mean, oh, tiny. Jerk, so I'm assuming he's mean. Like ours. Jerk, maybe his name is Jerk and he's just not a jerk. Oh look at him, look at him go, you missed that. Woohoo! There he goes and he's gonna flip. Come straight back up. Look at how vibrant all the colors are. In the next fish room, I would love to do a tank. Something like this with a lot of smaller, colorful fish. Like I would love to do like a little electric blue cichlid tank, you know? They're just so cool looking, but I just don't have anywhere to, I don't have anywhere to put something like that. There's so many different fish. I want literally this entire row of tanks just for my fish room. Hey Rod, would you sell me this setup here? Someone's trying to buy this setup. But you know, you have- I might have to outbid them. You have breakfast, you know? Yeah. No, I, I just I just like how it's like all down the road. Imagine, imagine having that. If they didn't jump, like look at him, he looks like he wants to jump right now. And there's a datanoid in there. Wow. This tank's got in a phantom, spotted phantom. Well, every time I've ever owned a Bicher, it grows so fast and so big and then it jumps out. I would buy that Bicher for $600, but one, it's a little above budget today, and two, it's probably gonna end up jumping out. I have never seen something like this in my entire life. I mean, that is that is the craziest looking fish ever. I'm gonna buy it. Just look at the face. What in the heck? All right, let's, let's get one of these suckers. Have you seen one that big before? No. I don't even think I've ever seen one before. I, maybe I have seen them smaller. Every time you uh, take a shower, you see a smaller one. Ah! Uh, that was, that was not cool. <laughs> before we go and bag our fish, I am going to feed the giant 12,000 gallon aquarium in this area. Oh, oh! I didn't even drop the fish yet! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! This pond is so big. Look at this fish. This is the biggest pond I think I've ever seen. And it has three big viewing panels. One, two, and three right there. I kind of want to buy this and that to go into the new fish room. Look at the size of that Arapaima. I don't think I'm ever gonna own a fish bigger than that. If you want to see that, smash the like button. If we get just an absurd amount of likes, I'll drop, I think it'd probably be $50,000 on both these tanks. Might have to save up for a little bit more. Manscaped, thanks for sponsoring this video. <laughs> All right, let's walk back without falling in. It is time, it's time to bag up our fire eel. Rodrigo's over there getting the bag ready. And I'm excited, these eels fit in our budget. They're only $350. We need a big old bag for these. These days, Rodrigo doesn't like to net fish anymore. So he makes me do all the work. I just wanna say a special thanks to Rodrigo for providing me just the perfect box for a thumbnail. Does it get any better than that? I don't even have to edit anything. The box costs money though. All right, so I'm extra charged for the box. Yes. I was gonna say subscribe to your channel, but we'll just take that out. I'll take the box money. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Rodrigo's channel. It'll be linked in the description down below. He, but he posts like epic videos of this entire place and he's actually moving to a bigger facility up in New York, which he'll be filming a lot of that whole transfer and moving all of this stuff. That's gonna be crazy. He also bullies kids, so don't subscribe. <laughs> oh! Bag him up. What happened? You don't need this. Oh, all right. Oh my gosh, dude. They are so weird. Make sure you have a connection with your fish, bro. Hi, buddy. Dude, what a freaking weird fish, man. Ah! Look at that thing. It's a snake! <sighs> Do I got the job? Look huh. how weird this fish is, man. Bro, it's longer than 24 inches. That's like two and a half feet long. If you can do this, you get this fish for free. What? Rip the tape? Yeah, in one try. One try. One try. I gotta rip the tape one try? Like how? Just rip? Yeah. 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I didn't bring my wallet. Oh, I know. What happened? Apple crack. I know, I know. <laughs> he knew! Rodrigo, predatory, cannot receive payments sent with Apple Pay at this time. I'm sorry, sir. Thanks for the free fish. Everyone, let's go. It is currently 11.44 p.m., almost 12 in the morning. We have the new fish slash eel weird prehistoric thing right here. I am super excited to open this up and get this new fish acclimated into its 1,000 gallon new home. Look at this thing. Big old bag, about a two and a half. That's too heavy for me, I'm too weak for that. That thing is about two and a, oh, the water's getting on my leg. Uh, foot long eel slash fish. What is a fire eel categorized as? What is it, is it a fish? Is it a fish or is it an eel? What do you think? Comment down below. Is a fire eel fish or eel? I guess it says eel in the name. The fire eel is not a true eel, but an extremely elongated fish with a distinctive pointed snout. Okay, that didn't answer my question at all. What do you think? You let me know in the comments down below. Is it an eel or is it a fish? Or is it both? Time to acclimate, buddy. You are gonna look awesome in this. I am gonna go get stuff to put on top of the pond. It is time, one of my favorite reasons why I'm buying fish from Predatory Fin is I don't have to worry about the water being bad because I know it's clean water. So I just pop the bag open, dump it in. Rip that sucker open. You ready, Caferos? The new fish is going in. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. What in the heck? Look at that thing, dude. Ugh. Well, that's open, crated, but it'll help avoid this thing from jumping out just for the night until I can get the net on it tomorrow. I'm gonna come back and check on our fire eel in the morning. That'll be like three seconds for you. So three, two, one. Hector was here at the house earlier and we uh, poured a giant piece of concrete slab. Yeah, it looked... Uh, it had those before, now it looks like this. He's literally tucked up in there. I put the GoPro down there and you can see his head just sitting out of the cinder block. He's hiding right now, but everything is good. He looks good, he's healthy. I'm gonna get the net over this pond like I mentioned later this afternoon once I head out to the farm, feed all the animals and I'll get that net. Please, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit that like button as well so you can convince me to go get those tanks, ponds, massive objects for the new fish room. This fish room is literally just a portion of what we are going to create in just a couple weeks. We close on the new property yes if you have not heard we got a new property in two days two days so stay tuned make sure to subscribe like I said and I will see you right back here in the next video see ya peace